Hey guys, it's Lisa. Today I'm here to bring you, I did a favorites video last week. And in that video, I showed a few things that I would, that Gemma was loving that I've been doing with her. And I also did an activities with my two year old video. Um, I got a lot of feedback from those videos that people wanted to know where I got certain things or where, what else, or what else do I have? I have a lot of different things related to the learning things that I showed in those videos. So this is just going to be a video of all of the educational things that I have um, that we play with right now. And um, this video is not sponsored at all. Nobody is paying me to do it. I just wanted to let you guys know because a lot of people don't even know about this stuff unless you search for it. So. I pretty much found most of the stuff on Amazon, so I will link all of it below. That's it, so we're gonna get started because I have a lot of stuff here. So the first couple things. So these, I'm sure everybody knows what these are. These are the Leapfrog um, fridge phonics, and this one's the Word Whammer. These are magnets, and I have them on my front door just because it's, it's out of the way and she can go by the front door and play with them, and it's completely fine. This one is for letters, and all the letters are on the front door, and I'll, I'll show you a picture of that here while I'm talking. And what you do is you basically put the letter, she could put all these letters um, in, and uh, it tells her how to say the letter and how to pronounce the letter. And she loves playing with this. She plays with it. She plays with it a lot. We've had these probably until she, since she was maybe eight months or nine months old. And she really does like these. Um, she used to sit and play with it probably because it's just the song. It's the same song for every letter. <laughs> but uh, but it's okay. It teaches her the letters and it teaches her how to say the letters. The other one that's similar that I found at a garage sale is the Word Whammer. And basically. So, so so this is along the same lines um, you have all the letters and she could stick the letters in there and form words, which she doesn't right now, obviously, but we do for her, and it sounds the words out. So we've done cat and dog, and she says it, and she likes it because she's learning words. Um, I like putting gem in there because it's Gemma, and it's my gem. But uh, the word whammer and the fridge phonics letter guy, um, if I find them on Amazon, I will link it down below, but these guys are, I usually find a lot of this stuff at like garage sales or like in my community Facebook, you know, garage sale group. And I know that when she's done with it, I'll get my money right back for it. And I want to say I paid maybe five bucks for this and five bucks for this and you get all the letters with it. And it's nice because it is a magnet. So it can go on your dishwasher or on your fridge or on your front door. Our front door is metal. So it goes on the front door. So, um, so those are two things that we've had for a very long time. And she really likes, she likes it because I think it interacts with her and it talks and it sings songs. So those are easy. I know a lot of people probably knew about those already, but that's something that we like. Something else that she got for her birthday I showed in my favorites video were these, are these popsicles. So these are fun because they are popsicles and they're a way to learn colors and letters. So the cool thing is, is that they come apart. So what I do is I take them all apart and I lay them on the floor and I say, where's the purple ones? Go get both of the purple ones. And she finds me the purple ones. And I said, I make her say the letters V. V is on one side, I is on the other side. So it's just a fun, it's a fun color and letter game. And uh, you know, I tell her put a red one with a blue one. So she'll take a red one and she'll take it off and she'll connect it with a blue one. So it's just a fun way, another fun way to learn colors. These are just a fun thing. And you know what? Another thing with these things guys, like all these things really, I know that I will get my money back for these within my community garage sale group because there's so many kids in my area. I know when I'm done with these that I'll definitely get money back for them. Not that that's a reason that you should buy them or whatever, but it just makes me feel better knowing that I'm going to resell them and that another kid is going to get to use them. So this is fun. It's another fun little um, learning toy for colors and letters, which is like a bonus because it's two in one. The bean bags that you saw her play with in my activities with my 21 to 24 month old is this. It's also educational insights and they're just bean bags. So it's all of the colors, you know, 
and I, I just lay them out and if you watch my activities video you'll see her she picks out all the colors she knows all of her colors because of these bean bags that's pretty much what I'll say because we've been doing these with her for since she turned one I want to say and she knows her colors so this this was totally worth it I want to say it was like 15 bucks we still play with these bean bags and I know I'll get my money back on these too this is just it's another great fun kids love bean bags they like throwing them so you know I set up a bucket and I'll say take the red bean bag go throw it in the bucket where's the red one you know whatever however you want to do it it's just another way to learn colors along those same lines these are numbers and they're cards so they're colors and numbers so it's another fun thing I like to lay them out on the floor and I like to say where's number one you know where and on the other side of these there's you know one tree five five birds it's orange though so 50 50 triangles four four boats so it's just another fun game slash toy that you can play with with her and she loves playing with these as well anything that that she could interact with and i'm not just teaching her something if she can get in there and play while we're, while i'm teaching her she loves it so this is another fun thing i will link all of this stuff below again like i said my mom bought her this color and shapes puzzle so these are just basically pieces that have colors. So like this is an example of pink, this is an example of purple. They're big puzzle pieces so she could easily do this on her own. And um, pink and purple, so those are the colors. And then there's also shapes in here. There's a heart, there's a circle, it's, it's just like that. They're big pieces, she enjoys this. Um, this is something she loves playing too. I couldn't put everything in that activities video because it would have been forever long. Um, so I'll probably do another one really soon because it's fun to see her do these things because she's figuring it out and it's just so cool. But these are another, this is the Learning Journey is this company and um, this stuff is also on Amazon. So this is Colors and Shapes. And along those same lines we have the Alphabet Memory Game. So this is, she loves, loves, loves memory games right now. So basically it's just pieces. It's the alphabet. So she has to find the capital A and the, and the lowercase a. And um, this is for three and up, so this is a little advanced for her, so we do this with her. But again, it's just a fun way to, for her to learn capital and lowercase and, you know, to recognize those letters. And uh, yeah, so this is another fun one by that same company. Uh, something else that I have that we haven't done yet, I got this at a garage sale, is this alphabet bingo. And it's basically just little cards with letters on them and somebody calls and it's like a fun bingo game for kids because it's the alphabet. It's alphabet bingo. So how easy is that? This says it's for ages four and up. So again, I said I got this at a garage sale, I think for like a dollar. All the pieces are in here. So I'm keeping this tucked away until uh, until she's ready for it. But I do want to show you guys all the stuff that I have because I think that, that, that that's what this video is pretty much about. So, all right, along those same lines, I have flashcards. You guys know they have flashcards at the dollar spot at Target. They have flashcards at the Dollar Tree. Any flashcards are fine. I found these Weber food ones um, on Amazon. They are they're pictures of real food. I think that's why I really like it because it was like, like it's legit food and they're nice, like she can't rip these. So um, they're just nice flashcards and uh, she loves her flashcards. She has a little uh, case that has, you know, all different kinds of flashcards in it. This is, these are just a few of them. Like these are the alphabet ones I have. These boxes are like ready to go. But um, even these ones from like the dollar spot or the dollar tree, the animals, these, these uh, president ones that I got at the dollar spot not too long ago, it's pretty funny because she knows Barack Obama. Like when I show it to her, I go, where's Barack Obama? She picks him out. So I think it's funny because she's starting to like, because I say the names of the presidents. I saw that little girl on Ellen and I'm obsessed with making her know who all the presidents are now. So it's kind of cool. It's a fun way of learning. And these are the pictures with the presidents. So it's kind of fun for her to point out um, the presidents. So just, just an extra fun thing. Uh, this this game you see her play on my activities with my two-year-old video. It's fish bowls. Guys, I got this on Amazon a while ago and I cannot find it. I couldn't even find it to link it on that last video, but this is a fun goldfish bowl game. It's basically just cardboard, but it's goldfish bowls and the goldfish in the colors and you basically lay it out and ask her, where's the redfish? Where does the redfish go? And she puts it on top of the redfish in the bowl. So again, just another color learning game, but I can't find this anywhere. I was looking everywhere online so that I could let you guys know where to find it and it's nowhere. So I don't even know what company. It says Terra Toy Corporation, T-A-R-A -A, Toy Corporation. 
sorry because everybody was asking me about that one. Two things that she got for, I want to say she got one of these for her birthday, for her first birthday, and she got one of these for Christmas. Um, these you could find at like Walmart, Target, anywhere. I'll link them below because you could also get them on Amazon. But these are Sesame Street learning bins, and they're fun because they're in these little briefcases. And when you open them up, this is all magnetic alphabet. And um, a little space down here so she could play with the letters. And underneath all the letters, you know, is something that starts with that letter. So it's kind of fun. E, Ernie. That's a fun one with the alphabet. And then this one she got for Christmas with the cookie monster on it. And this one has numbers. So, um, and a little game on this side. So it's a fun way for her to learn, you know, her letters and numbers. She loves carrying them around the house. She loves uh, playing with those. Something else that she got for her birthday is this touch and teach word book. This is kind of fun. Um, this is a little advanced for her, I think, but we still do it nonetheless. We still do. If stuff is like, it says for three and three and up, we still do it every once in a while. She still wants to play with this. So you open this up and basically, letter spoon begins with the letter S. So there's, le there's things on every page. And so when you turn the page, C like, is food, our apple begins with the letter A. Whatever you touch on the page, um, See you next time. it's a very noisy toy, but it's a very educational toy. Um, it teaches words, letters, and it sings music. So it's just a fun VTech. VTech has a lot of nice toys, um, but this is something that is really, really nice. It has a section for household things. It has a section for food. It has a section for like clothing. Um, this is toys. This is for the park. And this is the zoo. So. Just a fun way for her to learn other words and hear things and then she repeats them and it's just a fun toy and I'm, this was a really this was one of the things she got for her birthday that i really like a couple more things that are pretty pretty uh, the 10 little ladybugs book that i talked about a while ago i cannot find it it's somewhere in this house it's the book i read to her um since she's been like six months old and she loves the ladybug book she loves pointing to all the ladybugs well now we count the ladybugs she loves them so along those same lines for christmas we got her eight silly monkeys so it's fun because as you go along the monkeys disappear off the page you know um and she and they're 3d so she can count them and she likes to feel them and whatever by the time you get to the last page um there's only one monkey but she loves these books that you can count and that as you turn the pages uh they go away so she loves this one, Eight Silly Monkeys. I also found this one at a Once Upon a Child, I think, but this is Pooh's Bees. So every page you go on, there's one bee and then two bees, and she loves counting the bees, one, two, three bees. So this is Pooh's Bee Counting Book. And then this one also, Honey to Share, and this is all honey pots that go away, and you read the story, and Pooh gives all of his honey away as he goes through. So she loves these books that have the 3D things on the pages that she could touch and we count, and that they disappear as the pages go on. So those are just books that she's loving right now, and she's, they're kind of teaching her to count. She can only count to five right now, but she it's because of these books i really want to say because we go one two three i mean she likes them she really likes them these things i have a little um, chalkboard easel in the other room and it has a clip on it so i clip i had these laminated i got these off of amazon these are just numbers and it has you know the number of whatever it is one bike two what is it two dogs three duckies these are colors and then these are this is the alphabet and she loves standing there and she wants me to tell her where's the airplane where's the heart where's the mittens where's the letter a where's the letter w where's the letter z where's the zebra she loves pointing stuff out so these are things i had them laminated at um, fedex kinko's just so that she can't wreck them but if she ever were to color on them with a dry erase marker or something it would come right off so these are just three things that we love doing and then two other things that she got for her birthday that are a little bit old for her. This actually says ages four and up, so I'm going to keep it in her um, bin for like next year or the year after. But this is the Melissa and Doug wooden alphabet stamp set. And I think that this is great. This is fun for when you're doing like crafting time or coloring. You can take these stamps out and just let her stamp the letters out. Let teach her how to spell her name, you know, teach her how to, you know, write whatever but you could do it with stamps. Just a little bit too little for this right now, so we're not gonna be doing this for a while, but I wanted to show you guys anyway because I think it's a fun way to learn letters and just spell words. And then something else she got was this Wipe Clean Early Learning Activity Book. This is freaking awesome. I might actually sit with her and try this because, um, well, it has a practice page, here's letters, and basically it has the, the words and then the letters so that she could trace over the letters. 
but it's so fun. This is obviously way advanced for her right now, but I'm definitely going to put it away in her bin for when she's ready, and I absolutely love it. It has, you know, the letters. It has farm friends, so it wants you to circle. It wants you to trace the animals. It wants you to trace the animals' faces. Here's number practice, so she could... And it's all dry erase. Here's clocks, so she could write down what time it is on the clocks. Here's two lemons. It's like... It's such, this is such a great book for anybody at home who is considering maybe homeschooling or if you want to start before they go to preschool or something. This is awesome because it's a wipe clean book. It's a dry erase book. So they could write all in it all they want and it wipes right clean. So um, this is also from Amazon. So I will link it down below. Those are all the things that I have right now, guys. These are all things that, I mean, minus the last couple things I showed you that were a little advanced for her. The other stuff, she loves doing. I have it all in an organizer in the other room. I'm thinking I might do a video on the organizer. If that's something you guys want to see, leave me a comment down below. Maybe I'll do a video and show you how I organize all of this stuff. But uh, she got an organizer for her birthday, and I love it. It's got 15 drawers, and it's just a nice way for me to keep all of this. And she knows what drawer she goes to every day to like pick out what, you know, what game. What do you want to play today? She goes right to the drawer, picks out what she wants to do, and that's what we do. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informative for you. Again, see the box down below because I'm going to link as much stuff as I can. The only thing I cannot find is the goldfish game, and I'm really sorry, but this game was really, really cool. Um, but it's the only thing I can't find to link for you guys. So I'll do a little research into this, and I will let you know what I find. Otherwise, everything else I will link down below. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see Gemma playing with some of this stuff, make sure to check out all of my activities with my... I think I did a, I started activities with my six month or nine month old, and then I did one when she was 18 months old. Now I just did one when she was 21 to 24 months. So check out those videos if you want to see her in action playing with some of this stuff. It's kind of cute. Um, I do them to kind of show you guys what we're doing. Maybe it'll give you an idea because I love watching those kinds of videos and getting ideas from you guys as well. And uh, I also just like to go back and look and see what she was doing. So just a fun way for me to document and share with you guys. So Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.